Ted Bautista? Here. Simone Bollinger? Attorney Rebecca Wrightson? Here. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's recite the mission statement, please. Quality college is the leader in career and technical workforce development, providing the highest quality student centered education and job training for my Thank you. In front of you, you have the minutes from the previous meeting. You can take a few minutes to review those, please. And move to approve, subject to this direction. Do I have a second? Second. Minutes approved. Do we have any communications? Oh, yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay. Minutes approved. Do we have any communications? No communications to submit. Okay. Public discussion? Uh, no requests for public discussion. Thank you. Moving on to the President's report. Okay. Uh, as of August 5th, 2022, the college has received um, for the fiscal year 2022 appropriations $17,179,000. That is uh, equivalent to 94% of the requested um, allotment based on the allotment schedule. And the breakdown is 13329888 for the general fund, uh, 78500 for the uh, uh, establishment of the scholarship office under financial aid, uh, 3,597,440 for MBF, 65,189 for post, 200,400 for the capital improvement fund, and 180,762 for the first generation trust. Um, so that's the finances. Um, moving on to uh, other activities. Um, of course, the college is continuing to work on uh, air conditioning replacement. Uh, we have some installation going on and there will be a new bid going out soon uh, for some additional units. Uh, for the building 2000 generator, uh, it's, we're doing a lot of trenching right now at the back so they can put the uh, concrete footing in the wall. And um, it is currently at 23% complete. We have ongoing the underground water leak protection. And based on the initial assessment, there's some uh, repairs that will need to be done in order for us to move forward with the uh, additional assessment. Uh, for the building 6,000 water source redesign, um, the pump now for that project is expected to be here in November. And so we're waiting for any uh, update and this is uh, primarily due to delays uh, from the manufacturer. And uh, other activities that's uh, been happening, we have the second, uh, actually all the cohorts for the paramedic students uh, that have gone through Title of Texas for their second level exams. Uh, the next step really is for the students to take the NREMT certification here on Guam. Um, in addition, right now we're ongoing with registration with classes to begin next week. Um, and the college or employees have actually been really supportive of providing services on Saturday um, from about 8 to 12 so that individuals that are working or find it difficult to get away um, have an opportunity um, on a Saturday to come up to register. And so we're providing registration, cashier services, health center services, and advisement. Um, this past summer, uh, the college participated in the DYA Summer Youth Employment, and uh, we had 10 participants that were uh, spread throughout the campus. Um, uh, we did receive notice of an additional half a million dollars from the U.S. Department of Education uh, to support students uh, for the fall and the spring semesters. And uh, this is additional grant funding that we requested for uh, based on the percentage of students that have access to Pell 
um, and to it was a request really for additional funding for the semester uh, for the academic year. Um, this past summer was actually a highlight for the college. Normally we get about 200 students and we capped out at, um, I, I believe now the number is 504. Wow, and nice. this is uh, basically due to the um, boot camps uh, that we ran through the summer. So, um, you know, of course the boot camps is helping to support our enrollment, not just for the summer, but we'll see it coming through in uh, the fall semester as well. Um, and then the college, um, we did have representatives that participated in the uh, Relay for Life, and so we did a series of um, activities to raise funds for that event. And the lead on those two was actually uh, Tamara Fuhrer and um, Bobby Gloss. And so uh, we thank them for that coordination and um, for the college. Um, in order for us to continue in our online learning, uh, we have uh, continued and renewed the contract for eThink, which provides support for that learning platform. And um, of course, a couple weeks ago, we did have the groundbreaking for Building B, uh, expansion and renovation. And um, a lot of activities coming up in the next couple of weeks with uh, boot camp completions. We have another groundbreaking in two weeks for the Student Center for Canopy, and um, just a lot going on. <laughs> the beginning of the academic year, but a lot going on. Um, and that's my report. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Activity reports, please. Student trustee. Uh, so on Friday, July 29th, I attended the bidding for the Macy's Fashion Show, and I also participated in that on August 7th uh, at the GCC College Fair. And then on Thursday, August 11th, um, CAFSA had their, had their final meeting and um, training for the summer. And then today, um, August 12th, we have a concert tour, AOL is uh, 9 a.m. and then M2Z is um, 12, uh, 12 p.m. And then Monday is our, our student orientation, August 15th, and it'll be two sessions as well. AOL is gonna be in the morning at 9 a.m. and M2Z will be 12 p.m. And Wednesday the 17th, our first day of Monday Wednesday classes. Um, thurs uh, Thursday, August 18th, the first day of Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, Thursday classes. And August um, 19th on Friday is our first day for Friday and Saturday classes on the 29th. And that'll be it. Thank you. Support staff? Yeah, so the college staff are in community uh, preparing the classes for this fall semester classes. Um, and um, um, I imagine uh, we have uh, a number of staff have been coming in on Saturday to try to uh, make sure to help the students that uh, need uh, more assistance or, for example, want to come and register. And the, the other thing will be uh, college fair. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, departments that are out there. It was a really a lot of it was a show. Um, and we have a fashion show at the student on social media campus that they do with a lot of models. So it was really nice to see there were a lot of, uh, a lot of participation of the kids, families, um, the families and members of the college, and also the kids. And students and family so they're all there in that college fair. Uh, um, pretty much, and then also I uh, attended the uh, groundbreaking for the building B. So, and that's pretty much it. So, that's all. Great, thank you very much. First and foremost, thank you to the GCC team and family for taking the extra time and hours to help support our back to school efforts in terms of bringing the students back, recruiting as well as getting them registered and making it as seamless as possible um, for them to come back into our classrooms and take the classes. Board of Trustees, Community Outreach Report. Any trustees have anything to report? I do. First of all, I want to congratulate you guys for the, a nice um, look from the liberation uh, parade between, uh, you know, from 
collaboration with GPC and EOG. Um, so I definitely that I saw the GPC and EOG book going in into the uh, carbon drop. So um, really nice to see a really great um, uh, show off of, uh, of our uh, college there, in partnership you know, with EOG. And of course, the, we did receive a good feedback from the health fair in the mall, uh, from the uh, college fair in the mall. Um, I know I have some of my um, uh, retiree friends out there that is really now interested of uh, coming in and really like, oh, well, we can have a free tuition, uh, really trying to explore and talking about GCC. You know, it's been like, Hey, you're a board of trustee of GCC. We, you know, we learned a lot. There's a lot of things that GCC offered that the community did not. So I think, and I, that's something I would like to for us to continue. Uh, is really I think um, uh, having that exposure and um, have the community be aware of what we offer as a community college is really great. And I thank you. I know it's a it's a weekend, and I thank you for all the team that uh, put it together. Um, just on better note, um, the other uh, our college um, and the nursing, uh, that's Dean Lamonia and Peter Lamonia, sorry, Dean Dunya and myself are part of the planning uh, committee for the tuberculosis conference, which is coming up on uh, August 27 and 28. Um, it's actually one of the uh, speakers, and we wanted our students to attend that also. Um, you know, we're Focusing only on COVID, but in being in Guam and being in this area of the Pacific, uh, tuberculosis is also our number one, uh, you know, uh, uh, infection disease that's out there. So um, I'm really glad that GCC is being part of that um, and participating in planning that because we're only not reaching out to the working healthcare professionals, but we also want to prep and keep our students be abreast and knowledgeable in what's out there in our community. So I just want to acknowledge that, okay? Otherwise, uh, I'm excited for this uh, new school year. I was also able to attend the groundbreaking for Pelly B. A nice okay. event, yeah. And then I was also able to attend the Burgers and Brews 45th event and uh, successful event. Good turnout from the GCC team. Culinary team put out a fabulous spread of food. Um, and just great participation overall. Okay. Mr. Harold? Anyone else? Okay. Great. Moving on to unfinished business. So the forensic lab right now is at 99 with only 36% complete. <laughs> um, uh, the generator expected uh, date of arrival is October 3rd, uh, 2022. Um, they are still working on addressing the delay for the um, fire alarm system for DNA. Uh, for building 300, it is now at 97% complete. Oh. And they have installed the um, fire alarm system that's been completed, and they're waiting for G4S to terminate the old and activate the new alarm system. So that's chugging along. And uh, they're working on the fire sprinkler now. So they're um, doing the tapping for the water supply of the building 300. Um, so we FEMA inspections on the last report that it's supposed yeah. to be in July. So, see, so FEMA representatives came mm -hmm. and they took a look at the building, um, but so we've already closed out the project even though we've lost uh, over $300,000, um, but they, they were basically just here to see the projects that they had funded. And of course, we talked to them about potentially some upcoming funding opportunities for other projects here on campus okay, that deal with uh, mediation or hardening. So we'll be looking at those too. Uh, the Wellness Center, uh, we did have a meeting with USDA the other day, and we are working on the pre-application, so we're hoping to get that to them by the end of this month. Uh, for Building B, of course, we just did the groundbreaking uh, recently, but 
I think now are at 2.91% complete. Um, and so building B, the only pending item that they have is public health clearance in order to get the approval from DPW. So that's moving along. And then the Workforce Development Center, uh, we've started meeting with the uh, engineer from EDA. Um, so we have a team, of uh, the Vice President for Finance, um, the Director for Planning and Development, uh, the Sustainability Coordinator, our Comptroller, our Accountant, and myself that have been meeting with our EDA uh, representatives. There's some long lead items that we need to get um, to submit documentation for to get it launched. So we're working through that at the same time um, our material um, management administrator is working with them to finalize the scope so that it can go out to bid. So lots of things wow. happening in that project to get it going and moving. Mm -hmm. um, based on the timeline that is identified with EDA, because the A&E is already done, uh, we are significantly ahead of the timeline because the AME is completed. Uh, their expect, uh, expected um, construction start date is actually September of 2023, but we're hoping to get that by uh, started at least by the end of, maybe by the end of this year. If, we're, if everything goes well, we should start um, soon. So that's the Workforce Development uh, Center, and that's I have on the new Great. Thank you. New business. Um, so the first item here is really the authorization for the chairman to travel to the 2022 um, Asian Pacific Association for Fiduciary Studies. Uh, this is uh, as his uh, representation on the foundation for also the um, AIF certification which is the Accredited Investment uh, Fiduciary Training, um, and that takes place in November. November, start the, it actually starts November 14th and concludes with the investment conference on the 18th. And so um, basically this is just to um, get the board's approval for his travel. Move to approve the, the president's travel. Chairman. 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 Uh, basically, uh, basically, as uh, Asian Americans, Native American, uh, Native Hawaiians, uh, actually Pacific Island serving institutions, is going to be connected with a uh, Pacific Post Secondary Education convening in Washington D.C. And there are a series of um, meetings that the presidents will be um, that are being coordinated for the presidents to meet with the Secretary of Ed, okay. the Under Secretary, the new Department of Interior. Um, we're hoping to get an audience with KPAC, which are the congressional uh, representatives that represent Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. And so all of those meetings right now are being coordinated. So that's the first one. The second one is really um, ACCJC's Commission Development Workshop that happens every year. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be in October in Honolulu. And then the final one is the fiduciary conference that is uh, in Manila. And that was already approved on the last one. Yes. So that's it. I move to approve the president travel as stated um, in the schedule. Can I get a second motion, please? I second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay, motion passes. Travel schedule is approved. Can I get a motion to move the executive session, please? I move to uh, move the meeting to executive session. Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Okay. Executive session.
All opposed? Motion passes. President's report accepted. And without any further ado, any questions or comments before we adjourn? No. Nope. No. Okay. So we'll see you later. All right. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Second. I can't make any motion. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Thank you, everybody.